I've been using Google tools at work for over 10 years now. And although I've been enjoying the Geminification, eh, see what I did there, of all their apps, I've realized that oftentimes it's the basics that make the most impact on my productivity. So in this video, I'm sharing three Google Workspace templates that I've created and refined over the years that have collectively saved me hundreds, if not thousands of hours, since I use all three every single day. Let's get started. First off, my notes template in Google Docs that started off looking like this eight years ago and now looks something like this. It's an extremely flexible template that can be adapted for most workplace situations. Note taking for project management, one-off coffee chats, regular one-on-one -on -one meeting notes with your manager. Diving into the structure, we see three sections on the first page. Up top, a one sentence summary of what this document is about pretty self-explanatory. If you're working on a project, you would have the objective up here. The key materials section houses all the relevant links and documents for this particular project or meeting. For example, in my one-on-one -on -one meeting notes with my manager, I have links to all the projects I'm currently working on and other relevant information. Uh, so we both have easy access. The outstanding question section is a dynamic section that helps me keep track of urgent and open issues I need to deal with. If I'm helping my manager with a presentation and the person I need to meet with is out of office, I would include that here so it's top of mind. And once it's resolved, I remove it. And that's why it's dynamic. The actual notes start on the second page. Nothing too crazy here, just a few formatting tips. For example, I like to use heading three, hashtag, 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 space, at placeholder to use a placeholder chip. Choose date, divider, topics, make this bold. Enter, enter, command or control shift seven, topic one, enter, tab, sub bullet point. I use normal text for the action items header since it falls under the same date, right? I just bold it like so. Command and control eight for bullet point, first action item. And basically this setup allows me to select all this, command and control C to copy and paste for the next meeting or iteration. Select the date, okay and then right click here, uh, restart numbering, and we're good to go. Pro tip number one, when I'm taking notes during the meeting, I would underline action items, command and control U, that sounds weird, so that I can easily spot the key takeaways after the meeting ends. And I can simply copy, command and control C, and paste without formatting, command and control V down here. Pro tip number two, very underrated tip. We all know we can press tab to indent text to the right right? And then let's say another bullet point here. We can actually also shift tab to in, unindent that text to the left. And this is super helpful when taking notes in bullet point format like this. Drop a like if you didn't know that. Pro tip number three is only applicable for Google Workspace business users. And that's if you go to the Google Docs homepage, template gallery, and you submit a template. The next time you create a new Google Doc, you can select a template and choose this template. Speaking of, if you'd like to make a copy of all three templates from this video, you can sign up for my Workspace Toolkit. I literally send you my top seven Workspace templates for free, and all I ask in return is for you to passive aggressively share them with your unproductive colleagues and let me know what they say. All right, moving on. Although the Google Docs template is very flexible, it's meant for you to take notes for yourself. On the other hand, this Google Sheets template is built for collaboration meaning it's optimized for team meetings. Diving right into the structure, we have the meeting date here, the note taker for that meeting, the agenda items and their corresponding owners, duration of their session, link to pre-read documents, and notes and action items taking during the meeting. The first benefit of the setup is that it saves the meeting organizer a lot of time by letting individual session speakers input information themselves ahead of the meeting. Second, every single person involved in the meeting can see all the critical elements, the pre-read, notes taken during the meeting, action items, and third, you can actually see previous discussions by just scrolling down instead of having to open up a new tab or a document. Some of you might have already noticed this, but if you go to the mapping tab, you can add or remove team members here. For example, Tim Cookie. And if you go back here, the people drop down menus will reflect this new change. A few more tips and tricks. Before the next meeting, highlight an empty row up top and press command option equal sign for Mac users to add empty rows. Select an existing section below, command and control C to copy, and paste command and control V with formatting 
to preserve the formatting. Delete everything, change the date, and you're good to go. If you wanna add more rows, simply select the row with a drop down menu and holding down shift, down, 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 command D to paste with formatting. So formatting is preserved, command enter, new line, command enter, another new line, command enter, you get the idea. The third template is not technically a template, but still something you benefit from forever after just a one-time setup. And it's related to Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, and Slides. So you know how in Gmail, you can search for all comments you've been tagged in from Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides uh, by inputting this into the search field, like comments hyphen no reply at docs.google.com, but you can't really tell which comments are still active and open. What you can do instead is to create a new folder in your browser bookmarks, name it assigned to me, input this URL into the search bar. Don't worry, you'll get all the URLs in the workspace toolkit. Hit enter and bookmark this as slides comments. As you can see, this URL filters for all Google Slides presentations with open comments that are actively assigned to me. So I never lose track of an uncompleted comment. Only when I go into the presentation, complete this task, mark it as done, will this presentation disappear from the filtered view. We can do the same thing for Google Docs and Sheets, obviously, and I share the URLs to bookmark in my workspace toolkit, along with some other pretty cool tips for Google Drive. I'd love to hear what your biggest struggle is with Google Workspace, and maybe I can make a template for that. But in the meantime, check out this video for more productivity tips for work, and as usual, have a great one.